Introducing T2O. The quality and function of Hamilton Harbor is being affected due to the increase in toxic substances and various waste produced by the industrial sector. Discharge from three wastewater treatment plants and efficient sewer and stormwater systems, as well as runoff from the surrounding urban city, have also impacted the wetland. Hamilton Harbor is vital to the health, ecology, and economy of Hamilton, so it's important to introduce solutions that will minimize effects of further degradation while promoting restoration and revitalization. Currently, the top three consumers of water are in agriculture, thermal power generation, and residential water usage. Residents contribute to those water usage through daily uses of the sink, long showers, and efficient washing machines, toilets, and other household appliances. A lot of water is wasted in these processes as a leaky faucet dripping three drops per minute if unintended for 24 hours will waste one liter of water. In 2009, the average residential water usage was 280 liters per capita per day, and the total water usage was 489 liters per capita per day. The city has been taking steps to solve these problems by reducing raw sewage and surface debris as well as cleaning up contamination through multiple processes, but more progress is necessary. Our strategy to reduce the environmental impacts on Hamilton Harbor is to introduce T2O, Hamilton's first water tax directed at its citizens. This tax will reduce water consumption among citizens while creating a fund to mitigate environmental impacts and improve current systems. We want to make this tax addition an easy transition by adding it directly to your monthly hydro bill. An additional amount will be charged to each household depending on their water consumption per cubic meter. The amount will be listed separately on a bill but included in the total. Due to various household incomes, the tax rate charge will be correlated to a household's income. These numbers will come from the previous year's income as filed with the Canada Revenue Agency. Households with income lower than 50000 will have a rate of $0.05 cents per cubic meter, while incomes above 50000 will have a rate of $0.07 cents per cubic meter. Incomes below 15000 will be exempt from this tax. Since Canada already has a low water fee of $0.31 cents per cubic meter, these rates are tailored to create awareness of water consumption and usage behaviors without being financially detrimental. The tax money collected will directly fund projects to remediate the harbor and improve current water treatment systems for minimal future impacts. We anticipate that residents will change our water consumption behaviors towards more conscious and sustainable practices. By reducing their water consumption, there will be less strain on wastewater treatment plants. These efforts to improve the water quality and the environment around Hamilton Harbor will create a safe and functional space for residents. The money from this tax will go towards equipment or infrastructure at wastewater treatment plants, installing new technologies to help treat wastewater effectively or by implementing new sewer line systems within and around the city. Funds can also be invested into the cleanup of Hamilton Harbor or allocated towards outreach activities that raise awareness in the Hamilton community. By repairing leaky faucets and pipes or by using a washing machine and a dishwasher at full capacity, we can reduce water pressures towards wastewater treatment plants. Proper disposal of chemicals or medication is important for maintaining water quality. Information about proper disposal of chemicals can be found by contacting the company that produced the product. In order to prevent storm and sewage water from overflowing as a result of excess usage, routine inspections will be performed. During these sessions, the systems will be cleaned and unclogged to ensure the storm and sewer systems are working properly and that there is no blockage or excess debris that may be carried out after rainfall. A portion of the tax money collected will be used to clean and restore the harbor. This will be done using various techniques, including a process in which a vacuum tube will be used to siphon the contaminated waste upwards while separating the contaminants in the water. The tax money will be used to create extraction wells in the contaminated areas to secrete the material affecting the productivity of the wastewater treatment plant. The tax money will be allocated towards installing gray water systems for every household. These systems will recycle the accumulated water and treat it effectively with the aid of plants and natural microorganisms so that it may be safely reused. The water will be sent into a basin which will filter the water separating any hard material from it. The force of gravity will send the water down into an underground pond or wetland where it will be biologically purified and cleaned and made completely safe to use. This reduces the amount of water needed and the amount of water being sent to the harbor. These systems will also prevent overflow and excess runoff from entering the sewers. Further information on the implementation of this tax, as well as the allocations of the fund, can be found in the Water Tax section under the city's website. Residents can also find information about the issues surrounding water use, as well as updates on harbor and stormwater treatment improvements. 
We encourage community engagement and contact information is provided to those who want an active role in helping restore Hamilton. With the implementation of T2O, we hope to see the city of Hamilton flourish sustainably. When citizens are educated about environmental issues that directly relate to them, they become more environmentally conscious. This tax sheds light on the negative impacts on excessive water consumption, thus creating a more conscious citizen that will consume less water. We hope that Hamilton Harbor will be restored to its full bringing back recreational and wildlife purposes. However, the road towards a sustainable city does not stop here. The future of the city will require strategic and sustainable urban planning to strive for a healthy, sustainable, and prosperous community. T2O, reduce the flow.